Yo, what's good, Tristans? And Tristan! Today, we're gonna be reacting to Ariana Grande, my hair, from this Vivo Live performance. I'm pretty sure this is my second. Well, this is one of this is one of my this is one of my top three songs on her album. So I'm super excited to jump into this. But before we do, be sure to check me out Instagram, TikTok, and thank you guys so much, all you guys who have been checking out my sponsored playlist. There's gonna be a link up here and also down in the comments to check it out. I appreciate it so much, you guys. All these videos get copyright claimed. I do this for the love. I'm in serious debt. <laughs> it's not funny, yeah. Thank you so much, though. All right, let's jump into it. I don't give a f though, you guys. Who gives a f Okay. This song's gonna be good. I already know it. This song's gonna blow me away. I'm already blown away. You some instructions that you can't be scared to try. I want you to touch it softly like the way you do my mind. Take our body and this mood to touch the same way as my skin. Don't you be scared. There were some people commenting, I'm so, oh my God, that was so freaking good. That was unreal. There were some people commenting in POV, when I reacted to POV, there were a lot of people in the comments asking if like the rasp in her voice was like healthy or something. And I think I responded to some people that I think she's turning it off and on. And I think this is kind of proof of that because she's again, turning on the rasp here and there. But for the most part, her voice is really clean, but I love when she adds that in there. I feel like that's a new thing for her. Yo, I used to play the trumpet. Are those the right fingerings? What notes are he, is he playing? Bum, 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 bum. Would that be a D? I need my trumpet. Those are not the right fingerings, dude. I swear those are wrong. Completely wrong. I'm a little bit suspicious of this guy. Long overdue, just like these inches on my back. Usually don't let people. Sorry, I got I got to let that go. Alright, this guy's sus. Let's see what he let's see. You try hiding those fingerings from me. You think I can't tell? I actually can't tell. What? She just like talk? What? <laughs> what the hell is going on? I'm watching you, buddy. Is this guy a real trumpet player? Who is this guy? Yo, this guy. Thi okay, this guy knows what he's. Wait. Now, how do you do that? How does he do that? I don't know. I kind of figured it out one day. I was just trying to explain it to Adam a little while ago. I was doing these. There, I, I, I'm bullshit. There's this, this dude seems like he's good. I don't think I know what I'm talking about. All right, that's enough of that's enough of that. I don't know what the fuck is going on, dude. Those are the right fingerings. Y'all are gonna be so mad at me. I need to move on.
This trumpet solo though, dude. When was the last time you heard trumpet on like oh. Ariana sounding like a trumpet herself at the end there. This was freaking crazy. So we're gonna jump through this right now and we're gonna kinda dissect it and pick it apart a bit. This was so good. One big thing about low notes, by the way, you guys, low notes are almost always breathy. Unless you're doing like opera or something or some sort of thing where you want them to be really projected in full, like what would be like an operatic low note? But I don't think that's what people are going for. Even then, it's a pretty low volume. So that's something to also keep in mind when you're singing low notes is that the volume d diminishes the lower in pitch that you go. And the other thing that's characteristic about low notes is your larynx has to come down with low notes in general. So they're gonna have a darker timbre. A lot of the times, the reason why people can't hit low notes is because they're singing low notes as if they're singing a mid-range note, right? So they go, hey, and there's nothing left because you're not lowering your larynx as you're going down in pitch. Hey, right? It has to come down. The, or in other words, the tone has to get darker as you descend in pitch. I love too, by the way, the, just the writing in the song and how she goes from that low, soft note instantly into these high upper belts. It's kind of underrated how difficult that is. It's not crazy high though. I, I guess that's a. My guess is that at the highest, that's a D. Dude, is this the way that she sings it on the album? We're gonna really jump into this for a second. I didn't think so. Great, okay, we're gonna, actually that's gonna be super interesting to go into the differences between what she's doing on the album and here. By the way, something that people say all the damn time when I'm reacting to something uh, pre-recorded or something studio produced, let's say. You can't seriously analyze anything if it's a studio performance. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can still hear what someone's doing with their voice if you know what you're listening for, if that makes sense. Even through the production. At a certain point, yeah, if they add like millions of layers of auto-tune, tons of reverb, to the point where they sound like T-Pain or something. Yeah, you you really can't tell what they're doing. But just a general standard level of like pop production. Hell yeah, you can tell what they're doing. It's not that hard. Anyway, she's making some significant changes in the chorus here. I think of there being two Ariana Grandes, right? You've got the light poppy Ari Ariana Grande and you've got the dark save your tears Ariana Grande, right? We've got these two dichotomies of Ariana, the yin and the yang. Anyway, I was hearing the light, poppy sounding Ariana Grande, generally speaking, in the verses, aside from some of the lower range, of course, where it has to get darker. And then I was hearing the more full, dark sounding Ariana Grande in the chorus, right? But she doesn't sing this way in the studio production. So let's go through the differences. Here she's going, so run your hands to my hair, oh baby. On specifically the, the word hair, her vowel here is e. Eh. Hair. It's an e. Eh, e h. In the uh, studio one, her mouth is much more closed, and her vowels are a bit tighter so run your hands to my hair. and lighter. So run your hands to my hair, oh baby. Right? Hair, hair, hair. Right, there's a huge difference in volume. There's a huge difference in timbre. In the studio production, she's keeping it lighter. She's keeping it poppier. In the live version, she's uh, give, going way more full out and adding rasp that I didn't hear before. Actually, and what this has the effect of, and I've talked about this a number of times, when you're singing lighter and you're singing maybe a little bit more air, a little bit more closed timbre, a little bit more closed vowels, it gives the impression that she's not singing high. But when she sings more open and more full, it gets the impression, you get the impression that she's really pushing for those notes and it almost sounds like the notes are higher than they actually are. Sort of like the Adele effect. Adele doesn't necessarily sing very high, but 
it sounds like she's singing high to the average person. I've gone into this in the past with Ariana. People will go into her singing in different styles in this style in, in general where the, she's singing these fuller louder notes and they're like oh her technique is declining look how difficult it is for her to sing that note when in reality it's just a stylistic change that she's making super interesting though listen to how high this sounds right the rasp the rasp also gives you that effect too right Cause it, there's a big difference if I go, don't you be scared, right? It's like, okay, that, what, like that's not even an, the impressive note, which is just like, okay, whatever. Yeah, easy. But if I go same exact notes, don't, don't you be scared. All of a sudden it sounds like maybe that's higher in range. Maybe it's more difficult for me. I don't know, right? It, she's doing the exact same thing with her voice here. And that's actually super interesting to me. Tonight you'll get a pass, spend my dimes and spend my time too. And I think that she's singing the verses the same. She's maybe a little bit more airy. But it's basically the same in the verses. Interesting that she makes that choice, right? That she jumps into the chorus and she changes up the, the way that the whole song uh, actually feels. It changes it from like a vibey song into like, I'm not sure what it is. Something that has a little bit more oomph to it, a little bit more power and a little bit more of a climax. And this part is just ridiculous. It almost sounds like this shouldn't be in the, like, it almost sounds like, I don't even know how to describe it. It almost feels like it's a, uh, I don't I don't know how to say this without it sounding rude, so I'm just gonna say it. It almost sounds like this shouldn't actually be singing or it, it shouldn't actually be in the song in that it's just like so ridiculous <laughs> that she's like basically just kind of like talking in whistle voice. I've never heard this in a song for so long. Usually when someone is singing in whistle, it's just like one or two notes and it's just like, climaxes somewhere and you, they just hit it and then that's it she's just actually like talking in whistle voice which is crazy to me and i'm not good with the whistle voice i can't really do it very well myself it's something i really want to work on because i want to be able to uh, to help you guys uh, be able to do it but unfortunately that's not my area of expertise and i don't like to talk about things i don't know because i think that's silly i focus on the things that i do i do know other stuff yo you're on your own <laughs> but i would love to learn how to do it actually i'm gonna i'm gonna hit someone up after this i got a friend who can teach me how to do it anyway hopefully you guys really enjoyed my my reaction if you did be sure to check me out instagram tiktok I, I don't sing at the end i don't know why i'm doing that today also again check out the sponsor playlist and thank you guys so much for those of you who have oh yeah subscribe to the channel if you're new until next time tristan and tristan peace